Hi, this is Greg, and tonight we're going to demold Hearthstarts mold number 41, Gothic Dungeon Accessories. This mold contains additional pieces to enhance the Gothic Dungeon mold number 45. It can make a 1 inch wide door, smooth steps, octagon steps, 1 inch wide corridor, arch, roof sections, and decorative pieces. Uh, I don't have a whole lot of experience with these molds right here, so you know I know there's a door in there. We'll see what the other pieces look like. We're going to use all these molds when we do our Gothic Dungeon build, so I'm excited to see what pops out of here just like everybody else. So we'll start with the door. The door I did do a test demold of earlier just to make sure this will pop out in one piece, and this is a really nice looking door. I mean, this thing is smooth from front to back on there. This will be a nice looking piece. Looks like we got some arches right here. Again, nice detail on the top and the front of the arches. I guess we're going to glue these probably back to back during the project. Here's the other side. Again, detail on the top. This little stuff, you know, this little flashing right here just pops right off. Uh, let's see, side piece. Just a smooth block. Looks like one inch by a quarter inch. And this should be the same. Well, nope, this one's a little bit bigger. This is a, looks like a quarter inch by an inch. Smooth block. Very nice. A little point to go on top of, you know, decoration. I'm going to guess this might be the same thing. Yep. Like a dragon's tooth. Sit on top. And we'll start pulling these out. This is that similar texture that uh, Bruce used on the uh, floor mold, mold 201. It's a nice decorative piece. Looks like the other half of it. The detail on this stuff is fantastic. I love demolding this stuff for the first time because I look at it and I'm like, I mean, that thing is beyond smooth. The corners on there are just laser sharp. So again, another smooth texture piece. And I'll move over here a little bit. This looks like a, like almost a, a, a slope to a, a roof or a top. You know, I don't know. Some piece is going to have some texture on it, but that looks like, you know, a slatted shingle. And oh, that's a, uh, a peak, by the looks. Again, I haven't done any projects with these molds, so I'm looking. This is my very first time casting this one, so it's the first time I'm seeing these pieces come out also, so... Pretty exciting. Oh, that's really nice. You've got the arch built in there. You've got the uh, the floor type texture that he was using before on here. That looks really good. Look at the detail on that. I didn't use any shake table. Just gave a little shot of a surfactant onto the mold. Not quite sure what that is, but we're going to find out. Maybe a scroll, something like that. All right, go to the other side of the mold. Another flat piece. Another ridge. Yeah, that one's kind of deep. Oh, push that up from the bottom. Yeah, that's a hunk. That's a hunk of plaster right there. Then these bigger ones, well, that was pretty flat. So that's a, it's like a slat. Yeah, you could put that up side something. There's a few uses you could probably get out of that. We'll see if this one's that size. This looks like a stairs. And one more little piece right at the bottom, right here. We'll call that a scroll because I have no idea where that works in the project right now. So right now it's a scroll, but I'm sure it's something else. So mold 41, Gothic Dungeon Accessories mold. I appreciate you watching tonight. If you liked the video, please like it. Uh, if you like the channel, please follow it. Appreciate you guys being there. Till the next video. Thank you.